nation. Expose, expose, expose. And bring to light the corruption in a way that we have never seen before with our eyes. Let the lion roar. Split open the heavens and shake this nation. That the truth shall reign. The light shall come and overcome the darkness. And there shall come a shift at the hand of the Lord. At the hand of the Lord. The hand of the Lord. The hand of the Lord. Roar out of the heavens and stretch forth your hand, God. I see it. I see the Lord's hand coming strong towards this nation. I see it this week. Shake it, God. Come on. Come on, I want you to pray in the Holy Ghost for a minute. Ye pare ye ni ande sapaka ye pore vo samre di prese kare di visne rusopa ye te let the hand of the Lord let the hand of the Lord let the hand of the Lord be stretched towards this nation shake it shake loose shake loose what needs to be shaken loose God bring it to the surface bring it to the light. Come on, let the lion roar. Come on. Come on. Thank you, Lord. Let the lion roar, let the lion roar. Let the lion roar, let the lion roar. Let the Brenda, I feel like you're supposed to pray for the United States of America right now. Come on. How many want to join with us? Those of you that are watching, something of God is about to take place this week that is going to begin the shifting and the moving of God's hand. A trap has been set and a trap will reveal the hand of God and the hand of God shall do great great damage against the forces of hell do not concede do not be in fear come on come on let's pray let's pray let's pray come on come on Come on, come on, lift up your voice lift and begin to pray. Come on, I want you to pray in the Holy Ghost. Come on, we make a noise of the Holy Army, the army of God. We stand in the place of our divine seat of authority right now. Heavenly Father, we're calling upon the Lord God of the hosts, the Lord God of angel armies. We call upon heaven now to move across this land. To the west coast, come on, begin to pray in the spirit. And Father, we lift up our cry before heaven. We make a sound. We make a sound unified as one with the Father, as one with the Trinity of God. We stand in the gap and we cry out for the move of your spirit across this land. We speak to the 50 states and we say, let your anointing, your glory move even as your glory shall cover this earth. 
shall see. We cry out, Lord, in the name of Jesus, our elder brother. And we stand and we say, bless the United States of America. Yes, come on, lift bless up your voice. Bless this nation. Bless, bless this land. the United bless, States of bless, America. Bless. of heaven. Let there be one sound with the cloud of witnesses. Let there be one sound with the saints of the Most High. Come on. Prophesy. Sing it again. Let this. I hear a sound coming out of the heavens. Coming out of the heavens. Sing it one more time. I want you to prophesy this there morning. A There's a cry. Rising up from the earth. Come on. Come on. Just laugh. Ha 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 ha, devil. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. The lion is roaring. He He put saya on Come on, laugh. 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 As God turns events this week. Sing it again. Let the lion. Watch you now. When the nation of Israel was faced with fear, God spoke to them and said, Why do you fear? Why are you crying out unto me? Lift up your rod and go forward. This nation is going forward. I want everybody to lift up your rod of authority. Father, there is something that I hear in my spirit that this week, what has began with the finger of God shall move the hand of God this week. It shall begin a shift. Come on, we lift up our rod. We lift up our rod of authority. Are you ready? Let the lion roar one more time. As you lift up your rod of authority, I want you to sing and prophesy as the king of let glory. The lion roar, let the lion, lion roar. Lion of Judah. Yeshua. Let the lion roar. Father. Oh, Father. <laughs> we would have despaired, my Father, unless we had believed to see the goodness of you, the Almighty God, in the land of this living. America lives. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, Father. Worship and honor. How many are excited? <laughs> I just feel like the father is just looking down. He's just laughing, saying, just wait. What are you scared for, kids? By the way, I was reading something before I transition out of this today. How many remember August of last year? It was August of 2019. And those of you that are watching, I was flying in an airplane to go meet with Brother Copeland for two days of private prayer. And I said, God, what would you have me speak to him about? And the Lord said, I want to talk to you about this decade. I want to talk to you about the new year. And he said, it shall be known as the decade of difference. 
And he said, I will give you a prophetic indicator, an example, just like when Jesus said, as in the days of Noah. He said, it shall be like with Israel and Egypt, and the earth will stand in awe of what I will do. And then it was in September of last year. How many remember, and those of you that, that watched the ministry, God said that this year would start off harsh and there would be plagues. How many remember that? But he said what he's going to do is bring this nation into a new era of rest. Now, I say that because if the prophetic narrative is Exodus 14, for example, where the nation went through a plague, they were in a standstill, they had a pursuing aggressive adversary from the left, the nation was in fear. What did God do? If you read Exodus 14:30. The Bible talks about what happens. Obviously, he dealt with the adversary from the left. But I saw something that I had not seen before. In verse 30 of Exodus 14, God said that Israel feared God for that great work. Not the great work, that great work. In other words, there's specific events in God's way of doing things. He looks at things by way of events. This is an event that's been on his heart, on his calendar that is about to happen. This is a great event in the heart of God that shall not be changed. Are you listening? It's a specific event purposed by God that He will get the glory. And I tell you, 46 at this time does not exist. And, can I tell you something? Those of you that are attacking the prophets, if you remember, God said 2 Chronicles 20, 20 would be the prophetic word for this year, 2020. Believe the Lord and you'll be established. Believe His prophets and you'll, be, you'll prosper. Do you know that Exodus 14, at the end of the whole Red Sea encounter, and God triumphing and showing a nation that He was faithful and preserved them, just like He's going to do? Verse 31, the last verse, is really 2 Chronicles 20, 20. In the end... The Bible says that the people feared God and believed Him and the servant Moses. In other words, they believed the Lord and they believed His prophets. In the end, you're going to see that God was right and so was His spokesman. Amen. Give God a big shout. Give somebody.